Hello friends, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to go through the best Terror Raid Pokemon for farming Herba Mystica in the Indigo Disc. We did similar videos for Kitakami and Paldea for the best Pokemon to go out and hunt in Terror Raids to farm Herba Mystica. So we're going to do exactly the same as that today. For all the brand new Pokemon that we've got available, now the Indigo Disc is released in Scarlet and Violet. If you want to check those videos out, of course, they will be linked down in the description. Then you're going to have a full list of all three areas of the best Pokemon that are going to give you the best Herba Mystica drops. So within the Terrarium in the Blueberry Academy, we have a bunch of brand new Pokemon to go out and hunt. Along with that, a lot of these new Pokemon are going to be now available in Terrorid Dens. We're specifically going to be only focusing on five and six star terrorids because they're the dens that are going to give us the Herba Mystica drops or at least the chance of a Herba Mystica drop. It's never guaranteed, but every Pokemon that you battle in a five and a six star terrorid will have the chance to drop a single Herba Mystica. And some of them do have the chance to drop multiple Herba Mystica. Now, it's the Pokemon that have the opportunity to drop multiple Herba Mystica that we're going to be really honing in on and hunting in this guide today. Out of all of the five star Terror Raids that we have available in the Terrarium, we're going to have 21 Pokemon in a pool that will be picked from in these five star raids. From this pool of 21 Pokemon, there are only three that have multiple drops of Herba Mystica. All the other 18 five star Terror Raid Pokemon in the Terrarium will have the chance to drop one single Herba Mystica, but the following three Pokemon, Lapras, Kingdra, and Malamar, do give the possibility to drop any one of the five different Herba Mystica types there are. Meaning that when you beat these Terror Dens, you're going to have the chance to get multiple Herba Mystica from one Terror Den, making the farming process that much easier. Because there's only a low number of Pokemon from this pool of 21 that can drop multiple Herba Mystica, and the fact that five star Terror Dens are very hard to identify without actually going into the den and checking it itself it's not the most effective method for farming herba mystica in your games this is why like in the other guides we concentrate a lot more down on these six star terrorids they're easy to identify on your map you can pull this open and locate it very easily and then head out to it to check it for one of the pokemon that can drop multiple herba mystica now unlike the five star terrorid dens these six star terrorid dens have a pool of pokemon of 27 that they're going to be able to pull from but six of these 27 Pokemon in this six star Terror Raid pool are able to drop multiple Herba Mystica, meaning that you've got about a 22% chance of running into one of these six Pokemon every time you check the six star Terror Raid den on your map. Of course, like six star Terror Raids, you have the caveat that you'll only get one of these appearing on your map at a time. But it does mean that you can check it and then use the date exploit to despawn that six star terror that you've currently got on your map and respawn a new one for you to have another chance at getting one of these six Pokemon that you're going to want to hunt for primarily to farm Herba Mystica. Now these specific Pokemon in six star terrors are going to be Galarian Slowbro, Lapras, Alolan Muck, Kingdra, Porygon 2, and Malamos. So all of these six Pokemon have the opportunity to drop any one of the five different types of Herba Mystica, meaning that you're going to have the good chance of getting multiple Herba Mystica drops when you beat any one of these six star Terror Raid Pokemon. So the best method going around the Terrarium is going to be opening your map, locating where the six star Terror Raid is, heading out to it and checking it for any one of these six Pokemon. If it's not any one of the six Pokemon that we have listed and have on the screen right now, then what you do is use the Dead Exploit. You can do this by bringing your map up, hitting your home menu, and coming down into System Settings, then into System, and then down into Date and Time. Make sure that your synchronized clock via the internet is set to off. Go into your Date and Time. Don't change anything, just toggle through the options, hit that OK button, then hit your home menu, come back into the game, and you'll see all of the dens in the area disappear and respawn, meaning that you're going to get a new six star terror raid on your map. Again, all you need to do from here is just locate where it is, head over to it and check it for any one of these six Pokemon. It is a very quick and easy method. Once you do run into one of these six Pokemon, go in and battle it and reap the rewards. You're likely going to get at least one Herba Mystica, if not multiple at a time for beating any one of these six Terror Raid Pokemon. Now, I've mentioned it in the previous video, so I will mention it again in this one. 
You do have the ability to use a sandwich power to give you increased drops from the terror raid. Now raid power level one will give you one extra additional drop in the terror raid for that type. Raid power level two will give you two additional drops and raid power level three will give you three additional drops. But like I've said in the previous videos when I've mentioned this, to get raid power level three, you're going to need to use Herba Mystica and using Herba Mystica to get Herba Mystica when you've got the chance of getting no Herba Mystica just doesn't make sense. So if you're going to use the raid power at all for that specific type that you're going in against, I would advise just using raid power level two for the two additional drops, which gives you the very small opportunity of getting an additional Herba Mystica when you go in against one of these six Pokemon. And of course, it wouldn't be a raid video without some example builds for you to take in and beat these six star terror raid Pokemon very easily. Of course, we've covered a multitude of different guides on the channel for the different good terror raid builds for six star and five star pokemon and of course we will be doing another version of that for the indigo disc in the near future so do keep an eye out for that one with all of the new pokemon that we've now got available in the terrarium now one of the pokemon i would always say is a very good option against an array of different six star terror raids and also the five star terror raid pokemon is going to be a zoom rail these builds will all be down in the description below if you want to check them out after the video but they're all going to be able to cover bases and of course, there are many other options, but these are just generally ones that I find myself kind of going back to time and time again for an array of different six star terror raid Pokemon. Azumarill going to have the fairy terror type shell bell as the held item level 100. Make sure you hyper train all of your Pokemon. So all of its IVs are set to 31. Going to have an adamant nature on this Azumarill. It will have the EV spread of 252 in HP, 252 in attack and the ability huge power. Misty Terrain is really nice because you can set it on the field. It'll prevent you from getting affected by any status moves. Belly Drum is there to boost your attack by plus six, putting you in a really good position to just do some huge damage. Light Screen gives you a bit of protection defensively on the special end. And Play Rough is your main damaging attack. So very good, reliable Pokemon. And one that's available to everyone, easy to get and build in your games. Arceus is another one not available to everyone, but if you do have an Arceus in your game from something like Brilliant Diamond, Shining Pearl or Pokemon Legends Arceus or an event from the past and a very good raid Pokemon because you can change its type to whatever you want with whatever plate you attach it to. So it's very flexible for going in against an array of different Pokemon. This one, we have got the Water Terra type on it, but that was specifically for one Pokemon. You can keep the terror type normal or it can be whatever you kind of prefer it to be because you're not really generally going to terrestrialize the Arceus. You don't need to because it's just that good. We will have the moveset of Recover, Calm Mind, Acid Spray and Judgment. The basic premise is going to be to Acid Spray three times, Calm Mind two to three times and then just spam Judgment. And depending on whatever plate you have, it will be the same type as the plate that you attach to it as a held item. You're going to be able to do some really big damage and wipe out six star terror raid pokemon very easily the ev spread i would go on this one would be 252 in hp 252 in special attack with a modest nature and of course the ability there is multi-type next up is going to be annihilate i can't do one of these recommendation videos without recommending annihilate fighting terror type on it as well the held item going to be the metronome level 100 hyper trained and then the move set of rage first screech bulk up and drain punch with the defiant ability and then i would give it an ev spread of 252 hp and 252 in attack with an adamant nature so that is the annihilate a very solid pokemon very bulky good offensively as well and a really nice typing you can build another one it is the ghost terror type so you have the flexibility between the fighting type and the ghost terror type whenever you need it in different raids and finally, another one that I will suggest is going to be Goldengo, going to be Steel and Ghost type, Steel Terra type on there. Shell Bell as the held item, you can change that to Metal Coat if you like. Level 100 and Hyper Trained with the moveset of Recover, Nasty Plot, Metal Sound and Make It Rain. Good as Gold is the ability, it gives you complete immunity against status moves, things like Spore, things like Yawn, so it's really effective in that means. I would give it the EV spread of 252 in HP and 252 in special attack with a modest nature. And the basic premise is at the start of the raid, go for your metal sounds. That's going to reduce the special defense on the target Pokemon by two stages. Then use your nasty plots and then fire off the make it rains, especially after you terrestrialize. You're going to make quick work of a lot of five star and six star steel weak Pokemon. 
when using this in your games. This is everything for today's video. They are the six six star terror raid Pokemon that you're going to want to hunt to best farm Herba Mystica in the Indigo Disc and also the three five-star Pokemon as well that you're going to want to go out and hunt to make farming them a little bit easier. But like I say, the six-star are the ones to go for, a lot easier to identify on your map, whereas the five-star, a little bit more tricky, a little bit more time-consuming. But I hope you found today's video useful. If you have, please drop a like and do subscribe to the channel. Also, let me know if you've been farming Herba Mystica in the Terrarium, what is the best Herba Mystica drop that you've had so far? The best I've had is four Herba Mysticas at a time. I've had that twice so far, so that's been nice. Nothing more than that. But if you've had any more than that, do let me know down in the comment section. Would love to hear and have a lot of luck farming for Herba Mystica for those shiny hunts that you've got planned for the Indigo Disc. Have a great rest of your day, friends. Thank you so much for tuning in. Until next time, I'll see you again. So until then, take care and bye-bye.